Front-end web development can be a rewarding creative career that pays the bills. Even now it's an in-demand skill because of the lack of quality developers. But becoming a front-end web developer can be tough. It's hard to go to school for such a fast-moving industry. Universities can barely keep up. Boot camps are a great way to learn, but taking three months off and ten to thirty thousand dollars out is unrealistic for most people. So is it possible to become a front-end web developer without going to school or going to a boot camp? Hi, my name's Ricky. I'm a front-end web developer that broke into the industry by learning through books and online education. Today I'm going to show you how to become a front-end developer if I were to start today. Ready? Grab a pen, a piece of paper, and let's seriously ramp up your front-end education. Excited? Before we dig into details, check out the path that I've laid out for you to achieve your goals. 1. Get into the right mindset. 2. Learn graphic design. 3. Enroll in Team Treehouse's front-end and web design tracks. 4. Make your own projects. 5. Fill in the gaps. 6. Enroll in Udacity's front-end nano degree program and supplement learning with Pluralsight.com. 7. Create a portfolio. 8. Fill in the gaps. Again. 9. Position yourself through personal branding. And 10. Learn continuously. Ah, speaking of continual learning, if you see this icon pop up, it means that this section is a continual learning process during your journey and eventually your career as a front-end web developer. Getting in the right mindset. To become a great front-end web developer, you'll need to become obsessive about continually improving your skills. An easy way to do this is to listen to experts in the field. My favorite ways to stay in the loop are watching YouTube videos, listening to podcasts, and reading the occasional blog. Here's a list of my favorite experts. Roberto Blake. Roberto has worked as a professional graphic and web designer for many years. He covers graphic design, web design, and entrepreneurism. John Sanmez, aka Simple Programmer. John Sanmez worked as a programmer for over 15 years. His videos on programming, web development, and personal branding for developers are indispensable. However, take note that his channel covers a variety of topics, other than web development, so pick and choose what resonates with you. The Deeply Graphic Design Cast. This podcast is hosted by three tenured graphic designers and covers everything that you need to know from the creative side to the business side that you just won't find in books. DevTips. DevTips channel is currently inactive, but his coverage over the developer world is excellent. Check him out. Anything from Seth Godin. Seth is a great advocate for content marketing and inbound marketing, and it's featured on multiple blogs, YouTube channels, and podcasts. Seth has also written a great number of books on content marketing. Guy Kawasaki. Guy Kawasaki is an expert in social media marketing. He was once a brand ambassador for Apple and marketed the original Macintosh computer. CSS Tricks. CSS Tricks is an awesome place to learn how to do something with CSS quickly and with examples. Learn Graphic Design. One of the most critical skills that many people starting out learning front end development skip, including myself, is graphic design. Graphic design will make your website look more than nice it's going to make it look professional. Graphic design plays a huge role in creating a great user experience. Not only that, but it allows you to make mockups without writing code. Separating coding from designing also keeps things organized, saving you serious headaches down the road. Here's the books that help me improve. Graphic Design for Non-Designers by Robin Williams. No, not that Robin Williams. This book is an awesome way to get up to speed, especially if you don't have an artistic background, like me. Picture this. How Pictures Work by Molly Bang. This book is an extremely short read that will show you how images relate to each other. This will help you learn about layout. The Adobe Classroom in a Book series, Photoshop and Illustrator. These programs are core to designing for your websites and are industry standard. The Classroom in a Book series will give you a good foundation to work off of when designing your websites. Before and After Graphics for Business by John McWade. Knowing how graphic design plays a part in the office is a necessary skill. You'll learn about business cards, letterhead, and more. You can draw in 30 days. Now this is optional, but it really helped me get my eye for graphic design. And yes, it is true, you can learn how to draw in 30 days from this book. It takes you through drawing lessons that take about an hour a day for 30 days. I love this book, and it helped me deepen my understanding of weight, distance, texture, and shading. This was where the core of my graphic design started, as I stated before. However, it's not required for you to know how to draw to make beautiful web design layout. Graphic Design, A Concise History. This is also optional. This book will give you a concise history of graphic design. In addition to this, check out lynda.com and take their courses on graphic design and essential courses on Photoshop and Illustrator. 
Lynda.com are specialists when it comes to graphic design training. Treehouse makes no assumptions about your skill level. They'll train you from the ground up. Taking the web design track and front-end developer track together will deepen your understanding of front-end as a whole. To make the information stick, you'll want to use a few additional outside resources. And I found just the right ones. Mark Myers, a smarter way to learn series will help you retain what you've learned through several drills. I use these resources much later in my journey, but I wish I had them at the start. Mark has a distinct way of teaching that will ingrain HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery syntax into your brain. HTML and CSS design, and build websites through JavaScript and jQuery by John Duckett. Now these are optional, but they have a clean layout and will strengthen your front-end knowledge. Make your own projects. Now it's time to make your own projects. Try building a personal website for your portfolio and an online resume. This will be simple enough to complete, yet challenging enough to put your skills to the test. You should have a good base to work from. However, it's doubtful that you're ready for a job. You'll have to do a lot of deep searching on Google and Stack Overflow when you start on your own project. It'll probably be hard, but you'll grow from this. However, if you feel like you're getting stuck, it's all right to move on to another project. At this part of your journey, you're still learning, and it's all right to start over. Depending on where you live and how well your projects are, you may be good enough to get an entry-level job, but don't count on it. However, you'll have something to show if you get the opportunity to, though. Fill in the gaps. Are you feeling uncomfortable on a topic that you feel like you should be better at? Perhaps graphic design or JavaScript? It's time to fill in those gaps with outside resources. Two resources that I use all the time are lynda.com and udemy.com. Both have good resources on graphic design and coding. I suggest that you deepen your understanding for JavaScript. Consider reading the You Don't Know JS series from Kyle Simpson. You can purchase it on Amazon or read the entire series for free on GitHub. This series covers JavaScript extremely in depth and is not for people brand new to JavaScript. But guess what? You're not brand new anymore and you're ready to tackle this material. Enroll in Udacity's front end nano degree program. If you've made it this far, it's time to get serious about your front end developer education. The Udacity front end nano degree is what built the core of my front end web developer skills. However, don't be mistaken, I already had gone through Treehouse before this. Don't think that you can cheat and start here. You'll need some background knowledge, which you'll already have. The Udacity Nano degree is a serious commitment at $199 a month. By the time you're done, you'll have a portfolio to display all the skills that you've learned. Going through the program won't give you all the resources you need though. You'll need to use Google and YouTube to find out how to do things. I took it a step further and used Pluralsight.com, a learning resource for developers. This is the most in-depth resource that I found for coding. If I needed to know how to do something, I'd come to Pluralsight to brush up on my skills. Create a portfolio. Now you're ready to create your own portfolio and establish yourself as a professional. While Udacity will get you started with a portfolio, I recommend that you take the new information that you've gained to create an even better portfolio. This will show your improved capability to potential employers and recruiters. Filling in the gaps, again. Are you feeling like you're lacking in another area? You know what to do. Skill up with the resources we've discussed. Along the way, you'll probably find a few people interested in having you make a website. Do it, even if it's for free. This is a great way to level up your skills again and add another portfolio piece to your collection, and hopefully for real companies. If you get one somewhere in the middle of your journey, consider taking it. Just make sure that you're able to complete the job and still work on your front end education. Positioning yourself. Well, you're all skilled up. Simply go ask for a job and you shall receive. Yeah, right. Don't skimp on personal branding. Yes, front end is an in-demand skill, but you need to set yourself apart to get a job. Ensuring that your LinkedIn is fully decked out is a great start. Udacity will help you out with this, but always come back and tweak your profile to perfection. Start promoting yourself through social media. Talk about what you're learning and how your journey is shaping up. The easiest way to accomplish this is through blogging specifically LinkedIn articles. Already have a LinkedIn account? No blog setup is required. Not only that, but you'll make it easy for recruiters to validate your skills and keep you top of mind. 
Another way to position yourself is through YouTube videos. Granted, these are harder to create, but if you have the resources, do it. You'll get higher exposure, and because of the high barrier to entry, you'll have less competition. Thus, you'll stand out more. Side note, lynda.com is a great resource to learn video production. Use lynda.com, Skillshare, and Udemy to learn about personal branding. And it doesn't hurt to look up stuff on YouTube as well. Learn continuously. Once you've interviewed and gotten a job, the journey doesn't end. You'll be constantly updating your skills. Keep on using those techniques that you've learned to further your skill and your career. Hey, I didn't say it was going to be easy. I don't think you'll become a front-end web developer in three months or even six months. But it depends on you and how ambitious you are. For me, I became a front-end web developer after a year and a half in a location where front-end web development is not a common job. So it was definitely possible. Get a plan, stick with it, and watch your skills grow. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider giving it a like. Know someone who could benefit from watching this? By all means, feel free to share it. And if you have a question, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you in a timely fashion. See you next time and remember to always be learning.